The Impact Lounge is the number one place to be for the real Impact Wrestling fans. Hello and welcome to the Adam and Roe Show. I'm your host, Adam, and I'm joined by Roe as always. Roe, how are you? I'm great, Adam. How are you doing, man? Yeah, really good, really good. Now, for uh, listeners of the Impact Lounge channel, you must probably be thinking, what the hell is the Adam and Rose show? I haven't heard this before. Well, you're quite right. This is uh, our pilot episode. Uh, Roe and I usually cover the Impact Lounge reviews of, of the last Impact show. Uh, but this week, because it's Bound for Glory week, we're going to be trying to do something different. And we're going to be starting up a regular feature. Well, we hope it's going to be a regular feature where instead of looking at the actual show, we're going to be looking at the news that is, uh, well, the stuff that's made the news for impact and uh, impact related content over the last week. So this week's show is the first one. And uh, it's not going to be as long as usual. We're only going to just, I suppose, test the waters with, with you, the listeners, to make sure that you enjoy it. And um, yeah, just to get the ball rolling, uh, because it's a big news week, obviously with uh, Bound for Glory coming up in the next, uh, what was it, next eight, nine days, something like that. Or by the time you get to hear this, most probably only six. So what's going to happen on this show? I hear you all ask. Well, for all of those avid listeners who did used to tune into uh, both the, the review that Ro and I did, we always used to start off with some trivia questions, some stuff that comments have been made to us about the previous week's show. We're going to kind of take some of that stuff and bring it into this new kind of talk show format, news format that we're going to be running with. So every week we will be answering your questions if you put them on uh, the comments section below. But what we're also going to be doing is diving into the news. So I mentioned that we usually run a trivia question. So just for this week only, as we're not going to have a review this week, Ro is going to give you the, well, first of all, the questions and the answer to the last trivia question before I tell you this week's, which you can answer in the comments section below and we'll reveal all next week. So Ro, what was last week's question? So the questions were, I first, when trying to compete in the X division, I thought I needed to make weight, so I went in for a weigh-in, not realizing that the X Division, there is no weight limits. The second question was, I once was in a, embarked in a feud with a former world champion over something that was rightfully mine, and that cost me my job. And then finally, I've worked under multiple gimmicks. And the correct answer was Grado, um, just briefly. If you remember, he tried to compete in the X Division, and uh, they had him. He got naked on TV. I mean, obviously, they didn't show it, thank God. <laughs> but he tried to weigh in, not realizing there was no weigh-ins. Um, he feuded with Eli Drake over the Feaster Fire briefcase, which uh, he, uh, Eli Drake swapped cases with Grado, and Grado ended up getting the pink slip instead of, I think, at the time, the King of the Mountain title shot. And then that led to him coming back to TNA under Odarg the Great, which is Grado spelled backwards. Right, so there you go. That was last week's. And uh, we're going to straight away set out this week's um, trivia questions. So uh, mine is going to be uh, well, a little bit further back, but not too far back. We're gonna we're gonna jump back to the debut of this wrestler. So the question, the trivia question is, which wrestler am I talking about? So he debuted in 2012 in a gut check segment. However, his chances were ruined in that very first gut check uh, after Aces and Eights stormed the ring. So that was the first gut check, but he was then given another opportunity the week later against Doug Williams, uh, which he lost. So that was his debut. But near the end of his career in TNA, uh, he was in a pay-per-view match where the stipulation was, if he lost, he got committed to an insane asylum. So there you go. Who am I? Um, I was in gut check. I appeared twice, two weeks in a row. The first week because Aces and Eights got involved. The second week I lost to Gut Williams, although I did win a contract. And then the final clue is... Uh, a stipulation to a match which I did lose or this wrestler lost I should say it wasn't me by the way uh, this wrestler did lose was that uh, he was committed to an insane asylum so leave your thoughts in the comments below and we'll do this each and every week that we do one of these Adam and Rose shows which hopefully will be a regular feature so as I said you know we will answer your questions and this week is just more like a a sneak preview of what's to come. These shows are usually going to run about 20, 30 minutes each week. But today we're only going to be looking at one news item. And we are going to focus, as it is Bound for Glory Week, on something that's happened between the main event players, namely Johnny Impact and Austin Aries. Now, before I, I do go into the actual article, 
have you enjoyed this feud, Ro? Mm, I wouldn't say that I haven't. It just seems more of a next person in line. And then leading up to what transpired this past uh, weekend, you could say, it, it just kind of seems forced. I don't feel like these guys hate each other. Not saying that that's something that you need going into a title match. But it just really just seems next person in line to challenge uh, Austin Aries for the Impact World Championship. For me, what, what's been really noticeable is how good Austin Aries is. Because let's face it, Johnny's not that interesting. But he did exactly the same with Moose. He made us really care about the title match at Slammiversary uh, against someone once again I was very indifferent to. I think Austin Aries' mic work is so underappreciated. His 10-minute promo on last week's Impact was, was fantastic, where he just basically ripped Johnny a, Johnny a new one. Uh, live on live in the ring so anyway so so what was the news item i wanted to cover well it all kicked off on twitter this week and it, it kind of started where johnny impact or john morrison he still goes by john morrison on twitter interestingly enough uh but johnny impact said when does anyone not stand tall over austin aries and it was accompanied by a picture of austin aries on the ground and johnny mundo in the ring now this all then kicked off with Austin Aries kind of losing the plot a little bit. And and his tweet back was, ah, the form of discrimination that's still super cool, short shaming. If I joked race, retards, your gay look, if I fat shamed your husky wife, instant outrage. But you can predictably cut on me over my height, genetics I don't control, and it's just funny. Now, before we get on to the next tweet, what do you think about this? Does he have a point? You know what? I look at it from two points. Like, I look at it just from how I am. Like, I think when you get into, you know, and I call it roasting someone, nothing's off limits. So I think Impact going after him for his height, you you know, you open Pandora's box. He's free to say whatever. There's no type of limitations. But then on the other end, I kind of look at it just for the climate that we live in. I just feel like it wasn't needed. All that stuff wasn't needed only because I... it. You know, I don't think these guys hate each other. Even, you know, their promos, I never kind of got the sense that they hated each other. And this wasn't no blood feud. I think had it been a blood feud, then you could take it personal. It kind of just seems like a, a last ditch effort to kind of promote the match some. And personally, I think they, sh they could have went a different way. Now, hopefully it doesn't hurt the match overall. But I really will say Austin's work has been so great. I mean... Johnny Impact's really going to have to deliver Come Bound for Glory or everything Austin Aries said is going to have credence. Hey, do you think that this is a work or do you think that Austin Aries was legitimately pissed at this? You know, I'm sure they probably talked about it to make sure that it was okay because then we even seen Taya uh, jump into the mix. Well, I do. Well, I'll come on to that. Yeah, I'll come on to that in a second. Yeah, yeah. But I do think with Austin Aries, and it reminded me a little bit, I want to say was it when he, he feuded with Jeff Hardy, I think Austin Aries is one of these guys where he's never been promoted as the guy. You know, even though they might give him the spot where he's champion, there's always someone else that's you know, seen as the face of the company. And I, I remember this, and yeah, I think, but I believe so, when he was feuding with Jeff Hardy years back, you know, for the title, and he was bringing up Jeff's uh, troubled history. Like, I think that bothers him that, like, he's never seen as the guy. He's always, like, you know, he can play the hill, you know, very well, but there's always the, you know, that face that the company gets behind and wants to market as the face of the company. And we kind of see that a little bit with Johnny Impact. Now, just I'll go on to the response here. And I, I, I don't honestly know if this is real or not. And maybe I think that Austin Aries reply was real because, you know, he hashtagged Bang for Glory, those kind of things, just as um, had been done originally in, in John Morrison's original tweet that, uh, you know, he copied in everyone in, in the world. But these are the two responses. So first of all, John Morrison said, oh, sorry, Johnny Mundo, Hennigan, Impact, 205, whatever you want to call him. Um, I don't know what's more inappropriate. You're homophobic shot at by tights or you fat shaming a woman who trains every day like an athlete. But I know what pisses me off. You insulting my wife. Congrats, bro. You took my mind off the title. All I want to do is now F you up. 
And then Ty got involved saying, I'd rather be husky than a little bitch. Your tweet speaks volumes about your character and who you really are. Glad the world is seeing the real you. Quotations, Austin. Um, it seems to have turned real to me. And I really don't know if this is a work or not. And that's the one good thing about this whole thing is that a lot of people out there don't know if this is a work or not. And there'll be there'll be people maybe even on the comments in this of this video who'll be saying, you're just getting work like the rest of the world. But I'm not sure on this. I actually think that that uh, Austin Aries has said something and, and John Morrison has not liked it. And it'll be interesting to see during the actual match if there's going to be a few stiff shots that go in there uh, and whether it's a super stiff match, which will be the first time in, ever that we see Johnny Mundo actually inflict some damage on someone if he does go that route. Um, but, but yeah, I, any thoughts on, on, on the comebacks? I think adding what Taya's responses and that's where people got uh, upset with, you know, the fact that he called out Taya, you know, not that the, the gay outfit or the retard, it was cause he said what he said about Taya and Taya responded, you know, it's like, I want to believe it's a work, but I just feel like they didn't need to go this route. Cause I think their, their thing is trying to get people to purchase the uh, pay-per-view. And I think, what do they call this, cheap heat? I, I, I just don't think it was necessary. I thought what Austin Aries, the promo that Aries cut on in this most previous episode of Impact, that was enough. And I think really, maybe, and maybe this is just me reaching, I think Austin Aries responded the way he did just to kind of get the heat back on him because... You could argue Johnny Impact kind of comes across as being a little bit insecure, you know, going for the height, I mean, height shaming and all, all his comebacks have been relatively weak. And I think the thing that they don't want to happen is going into Bountiful Glory. Everyone's cheering for Austin Aries and they're booing Johnny Impact because Johnny Impact seen as the chosen one. But, you know, yeah, it, it, you know what? I'm going to say it's a work. And I think that's why Ty is adding the element that she's adding to it. It's hard for me to believe that they would run a personal angle like that, you know, let alone on Twitter out of all things. The one thing that makes me think that possibly it's not a work is the fact that on the actual Impact show, at no point do they reference uh, that Tyre and Johnny are a couple. And the fact that she's got involved in this, it seems a bit out of the blue. So, as I said, maybe I'm being worked, you know, and, and fair play to them. But, you know, it, it, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, how it actually goes down and if it escalates on on Twitter and those kind of things. But for me, it, it certainly piqued my interest. And I, I don't think the tweet has been deleted. And that's another reason to maybe suggest that it is a work if it has if it hasn't been t uh, deleted, you know, because these things usually, you know, the next day someone says, oh, my, my account was hacked. I, I didn't really say that. I don't mean it. But um, by the way, the short shaming thing, that's just nonsense. I can't believe Austin Aries is that w bothered by it. I honestly can't believe he'd be that bothered by it, which once again, it leads me to thinking it's a work. My word, I've flip flopped more, more times here than a, a big show face heel turn. haven't I? I've gone back and forth on this one. Um, yeah. So, what do you listeners think? Let us know. Uh, really interesting stuff. And it's the first time we've really seen anything like this on Twitter from Impact. I, I can't remember any other time. And please feel free to correct me. I have yourself for all our listeners. Can you think of another time when, when they've used Twitter to build a feud in this way? You know, like I said, it's, it's, I mean, I can't remember on the top of my head. It just seems like they wanted to add some steam to the match. But you know what? I'm looking right now because I remember I responded to him. I, I just you responded in a meme. It looks like he did end up uh, deleting the comment. Oh, um, I, oh, my bad. There you go. So possibly it wasn't a work. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, it, this, this... It, it, it could it could have been. I just think that what they got and like I said, once again, I mean, I know some of us are kind of like, hey, you know, it's fair game. But the climate that we live in, you know, the moment that he went there, you know, you know, and that that's a problem with people, you know, why in Austin Aries has a point, he can be short shamed and that's deemed as, oh, well, that's not a big deal. You should be able to deal with that. But, you know, the moment somebody is critical of your outfit and, you know, then all of a sudden there's the outrage. But that's the climate we live in. We pick and choose what we want to be offended by. There's no equal ground. You know, there's not one person to say, well, Johnny Impact shouldn't have went there. You know, there's there's a saying I want to say from um this uh 
the the sportscaster I listen to, he always says, don't come for me when I didn't send for you. So, you know, you taking shots at him, he has a right to defend himself. Fair enough. Oh, there you go, folks. That's the first episode of uh, the Adam and Rose show. And uh, next week, or whether it's next week or two weeks time, because obviously it's bound for glory week. We don't know what the schedule is going to be like. It's going to go crazy. Just make sure that... Uh, that uh, you you tune in and you let us know what you think of this show. Best way you can do that is by giving us a thumbs up on uh, the YouTube channel or on podcast, wherever it it is that you you listen to this show. But make sure you do hit that subscribe. We're over four thousand listeners. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll catch you next week. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, and for more from the Impact Lounge, check out the videos below.